No face cam? No, I'm not doing a face cam. I'm not doing face cam, but I'm gonna take my voice changer off. Yeah, the blow. Yeah, we're gonna be on a podcast with uh, Blastoise. <clears throat> Yo, hello? Alright. Yo, hello? Can you guys hear me now? <clears throat> Can y'all hear me or not, chat? Bro, voice, yeah. <clears throat> Is the voice changer off, chat, or no? You mean on? All right, I'm about to chat. I'm about to unmute. Can you guys tell me if you hear them? Tell me if you hear them. I'm about to unmute. It's rapper, you know, but he's, he's honestly the decade. You know what I mean? Yo, that's him. You know. Yeah, I have a question, and I I truly believe this. If Kanye didn't have all this controversy, I think it'd be Kanye. Right. I think. I mean, I think Kanye uh, makes better music. I agree. Yeah, I would yeah. say he's the better artist. Like his old, his sure. old, yeah, his old, his old music is definitely better. You know. This guy talking about well, Drake. Well, I mean, who's I, this? I, I, oh yeah, well, we have climb. Oh, also, while, while we're waiting for Sabah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys all go and introduce yourselves uh, real quick. Well, we can start. We go Louis forehead and then Klein. Introduce yourselves. What characters you play? Uh, let's be honest. You guys are criminals. So you guys all play one character, and it's probably self insert. So wow. Let's go. Okay. I am <laughs> Louis. I play SK or Sparky, man of the manor. Used to be man dem, not anymore. Forehead, that's 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 up to you. That's your cue, bro. That's your cue. Oh yeah, yeah. My name is Forehead. I, I, I role play a moron named Forehead. Um, he's part of a group I'd rather not name. Besties. I'd rather say the name. I think you should. Nah, I'd, rather, say I'd, name. Rather not, I'd rather not name the group. I'd... Wait, so bro, forehead, a... forehead plays Forehead. It's crazy. But who's this little kid? Who? Yo, <laughs> what? Bro, Yo. what? Yo. Yo, that is crazy. Plus, well, I've, never heard, I've never heard your real but... voice. I've never heard yeah, your yeah, voice client, it's crazy. You you do a really good voice for uh for Peanut. Like hearing you speak uh without it is like kind of crazy. What's well, yeah? It's a it's a voice changer, and then I do a voice too. So yeah. Oh, oh wait, wow, your so. your cam is not working for me. Character. Brother. That's crazy. Oh uh yeah, my cam will not be uh it, my cam's gonna be cooked. I'm so sorry. Um, oh, okay. It's I, I this is I need to fix this. Uh, when S fan goes on this he literally just he stays in game um and then puts the discord call up at the top and it's oh, my camera's never there so i have to fix that um i think i have to use like the whatever it is the virtual camera or whatever um while we still wait for sab uh back to drake um you think he's the artist of the decade i mean he got the award for it you know he did, he did. it was an award given out for artist of the decade and he got it so for right. what, like numbers or like ability? I feel like he's the king of like mid music. But like, you know what okay, you're doing. Okay, listen, listen. Is is like the is the king of like good music, but not like the best music out there. You know what I mean? Like he makes his music is good, but it's not like, for example, it's not as good as Kanye's music, right? But he just makes good music mm. and he makes a lot of it. You know? Yeah. Consistently makes. Drake has been good consistent. Music. Yeah, hit maker. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I, I feel like, I feel like if you genuinely looked at the last, like, what, like, maybe even like twenty years, the it's probably like it's probably between Drake and Kanye, and I feel like people maybe don't give Kanye the nod anymore because of all the crazy shit he's been doing. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna throw in a curveball then. Uh, okay, since we moved away from uh, rapper, now we're talking artist. What about uh Taylor Swift? Ooh. Last time we spoke about Taylor Swift, Dean Bro, I don't know how to do this chat. Open, so I don't know uh, if I'm gonna be say honest. anything. That is a fan base I don't want to mess I'm with. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. Wait, know I'm so dumb. By the way, client even didn't do his. I don't even know. Wait for yeah, client. I didn't even let you do your intro. I'm so sorry, client. Go ahead. Hey, my bad. Uh, my name's client, and uh, I play Peanut. Gizzard. Hey, that's my dog. Okay, okay so so we have the Manor, Chang Gang, and Besties. No, hold on. Hey. Do you like when I do hey, it? When I say it like that? Just relax. That's right. Hey, hey, let's relax. Hey, let's, you, you know, know what it is? Hey, it's the it's the fuck it's the manner thing, yeah. And then it's like, watch your fucking mouth, chain gang here. And then besties. No, that's hey, let's relax, guys. That's, <laughs> we don't. We don't. Nah, hey, that name goes hard. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I, dude, I 
Listen, I'm telling you, I'm I'm more afraid. Like, if, if you're telling me that like I've I have conflict with some gang, and you're telling me I have to go against fucking you know various like the Marabuntas, the Vagos, Chang gang, like all these like names. And it's like, or you want to fight the besties? I want to fight the besties, dude. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> Yo, forehead, say it. I am. I am not. Say I have, forehead, I haven't say heard it. you say it once. No, I I have. The, I am not. I listen. I don't claim that stuff. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't claim an incorrect. I don't claim an OC. I don't claim besties. <laughs> can we get? Can we get a slay? <laughs> <laughs> like, but no, but like for it. Think about it. Like part of, and we'll get into this in the podcast. Part of like, you know, the conflict of criminals is is that psychological warfare, right? Like, you know, say I'm on Mickey, and and the company goes to war with uh -huh. fucking chain, chain gang, right? And we get clapped by chain gang, right? Client on Pina can be a hip. Like that's on business. That's chain gang shit, right? And I'm like, well, and for me, I'm like, well, I got clapped by Chang Gang, right? Okay, cool. But now imagine I get clapped by the besties and they're like, besties, slay. Like, I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, I just got, you know what I mean? Like, dude, that hurts way more. Yeah, I think you'd be more mad if you get clapped by the besties. Nah, I mean, came uh, up with a name. I get, I get what you, uh, I think it was funny. Uh, Honestly, far. Yeah. I mean, I'll, props to you guys. That's more. That's more psychological warfare. Um, well, okay, most well, names are cringe, though, right? Like, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I don't think honestly, that's had like a seriously sick name. Oh my! Oh, no, okay. it's fucked my frame up. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna mess. It's gonna mess everything up, and I'm gonna have to switch it all. But finally, he's here. Sab, are you turning on Cam? Okay, now I have to I have to show the absolute craziness that is this whole setting for me. Uh and I'll get you guys I'll get you guys started on a topic while I go and fix the whole scene. Wait, Sab, if you are here, I need you to turn on your camera. Like, oh, you know, while we're waiting for Sab to turn on his speak camera, up? While the what entire do you mean, speak scene up? Can you guys up. not hear me? Uh, what do you mean speak ruining. up, chat? Dude, what do you mean? We're we're trying to have a criminal role play session and the cops ruin that. Um, anyways. Can you guys not hear me, chat? Uh first first question for all of you, and the guys can good? go okay. ahead and take turns is um uh, I know a lot of you guys role play as Crimson 3.0. Um, overall, how's uh how's Criminal RP been for you guys in 4.0? What's been sort of the highlight? What's been, you know, anything that frustrating? Just your general <clears throat> thoughts on Crim role play in 4.0. Who's first? Yeah, you got it. I, I mean, I feel like at the start I was a little like I was struggling to get super into it because of the the, the 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 grind, but. I think recently it's kind of everyone's kind of eased off on that a bit and it's it's, it's been i've been enjoying it a lot like the last couple of weeks i'd say i've been having the most fun in like the whole of 4.0 just in general with a few different things going on i feel like the prison stuff how like Carmine and bobby been doing that that's been some cool stuff to to do as well more rp focused yeah i mean i think just uh i think over time it builds up right I feel like uh, the criminal side, it just takes time for things to uh, things to happen, like things to come out, new stuff to do. And the longer you give it, the more stuff there is for criminals to do, you know? But I, I, I've, been, I, I'm, I've been having fun, though, so. Yeah. Was you there for the start of 3.0 for head or nah? Uh, no. Yeah, no, nah, me neither. Like so like the, whole, midway. the whole startup thing is new to me as well. So I think that's part of the reason why I was finding it a bit grindy. Yeah, it, it definitely feels more more grindy than uh than 3.0. 3.0. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Krim right now it's a little bit like lacking. But to be honest, it's kind of it's just what you make it, to be honest. You know what I mean? So like mechanic wise there's not much to do. I say there's nothing, but there's not a whole lot of things, but it's like there's no mechanics around that you just gotta come up with your own robberies or your own type of things or just Little things that, you know, haven't been done before. Just be unique with it, I guess. Just have fun with it. I, yeah. I have a hot... Uh, I mean, before before I hear more from Ford, I have a hot question for you, client. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, so you've been rolling around with... You, you roll a chain gang. And one of the things that is, I think... And, and granted, Ford, I've seen you guys do this uh, with the besties. There he is. And, and, and Louis, I've seen you guys do it with, uh, with manor stuff. But yeah. um, one of the things... For you, Klein, is uh, you guys rob other people uh, like a lot. And my my thought, my question to you is like, uh, 
have you is is part of it that like being a criminal in 4.0 feels like a lot like a lot of the stuff when there's no mechanics is robbing other people have you had it like how is it like robbing other people and like do you struggle with that from like a you know because that I, I think there's a million more like things that occur when you rob other actual players as opposed to just robbing like you know npcs the government banks like how has that been for you in 4.0 like robbing other people um how has it been honestly i feel like robbing other people you know i mean you know how viewers are but i feel like it, cre it can create rp like i said it's just when you when you just base your things around mechanics and all you do is like mechanic robberies and you never do any type of conflict like I mean, crime is like any type of RP, like, for example, business RP, right? Business RP is like back and forth of other players. If you just do crime in mechanic ways and never rob anybody else or never have any conflict, it just, just gets boring, you know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah, I just see it as a way of furthering RP. Like, if, you know, if somebody gets robbed, I mean, I just see the way, I see it the way I would react to it, right? If, like, somebody robbed me, I would, you know... Further the RP by doing something back. Right? Not everybody does that. But I feel like it's a lot better than just basing and just doing mechanics over and over. And just doing a jury run again. And again. And again. You know, because that just gets repetitive and boring. At least when you rob people and you have conflicts like that. It's like, things can come out of it. That's not the same exact thing. You know, it's different people, different scenarios. And, yeah. So, I mean, I, yeah, it's fine. So, why do you keep robbing my turbo? <laughs> that's not okay <laughs> listen that that you, you got you're asking the wrong person you know what i mean that is not that is not me i don't know uh additionally welcome to the podcast our our co-host and finally outnumbered by the criminals uh sab uh sab go ahead and introduce yourself i apologize for being late thanks for having me again blau and uh, my name is sab i play as captain slacks in the lspd and um i'm excited to be here um okay let's let's uh, uh let's get into some stuff now that sab's here guys uh forehead louis client finally i can like i can have this take because he's outnumbered um okay first of all fuck the pd and uh like how how have you guys found uh the interactions between crim and uh cop in 4.0 good bad what's the good the bad the ugly of it be honest hmm be honest. I feel, for the most part, I've been positive. I can't lie. I feel like I've been pretty lucky. Like I haven't really. Like, I can't think off the top of my head of any time I've been fucked over or unhappy with shit. But I don't know. I feel like I haven't interacted with cops as much as I did in 3.0. So I don't know if I can really say I've seen too much. The floor is yours, other guys. Good Why word. is everybody saying forehead is a cop? Yeah, this guy's snitching. This forehead. guy is a cop. Forehead, you're a cop. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. Okay, why? Why is everyone saying you're a cop? Go, go ahead for it. Go ahead. That's just. Yeah, I, I don't know because you know my character tends to uh, hang out with cops. I guess you know. So that's. Yeah, so why did I even invite you on this, man? Fuck. <laughs> I don't. You got the wrong guy, but. <laughs> no, but I mean, so how how how's it been with the with the PD for you? I mean, about the rep. whether it's like. Yeah, how's your PD rep? Uh, yeah, my PD rep is good. You know, uh, I mean, I think I've had mainly uh, positive interactions with police. Uh, I mean, it's mainly good. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, there's obviously certain times, but uh, it's been mainly good to be honest. I don't really, like. I don't think it's uh, been bad. How would you compare it from like three point or four point Well, okay, at the start of four point was a bit different because police would break off like. I don't know what it was, right? I think it's like a 15 minute chase or something. Or like if you were too violent in a chase, it would break off. So for me, that was a little bit different. Like I wasn't used to it, but I, feel, I don't think cops do that no more, right? Um, so yeah, in the beginning, because we had so many low numbers. Chat, what do you guys, what do you want me to say, chat? Chase, Let me stand on business. Like, you know, I'm what, not trying to like, back, but it's a bro, I'm chase, not, chat, and chase chill and out, man. Off. I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so yeah, back then it was, it was very chill, different. Chat, chill, uh, like police would break up, but now it's kind of back to what it used to be, you know? A police yeah, will chase you. So. I think I think what that's the, good. What's the reason it broke off? 
Is it just because the numbers? To, listen, I'm not trying numbers. to. And then I'm not if trying to create some too fucking reckless, drama. Right? Sometimes that. police chases are too reckless to I'm where they cause more damage drama. than they actually do, especially if it's something so small. If like if you trespass on a property, like mm. why should we chase you for like 15 minutes? It's not worth it, right? But if you kill somebody, I'm gonna chase you till I catch you. Yeah, makes sense. All right, what about you, client? Because you've had you client, you've now been on the receiving end of uh, what some people affectionately or disaffectionately called 10 cgs so how, how has it been for you uh <clears throat> listen so i've i've experienced both sides i used to have a cop and uh so i've done both sides i know how it is to be a cop and i know how it is to be a crim i'll be honest with you the role play itself like the interactions like talking to the people is good like every time i talk to anybody i mean slacks fucking whoever it is it's always good interactions but there's a lot of times like during crime itself where it gets to the point I, I do get frustrated sometimes you know and this is happens to everybody cops crimson it doesn't matter who you are but um i feel like sometimes a lot of things at least you know i i'm speaking like this because i've experienced it myself right as a cop for example like constant you know i'll give an example like pits right there's nothing wrong with pits itself right but the way i see pits is like the way people do pit maneuvers sometimes is like, and this is the way I think about it, is like they spam pit. You know what I mean? Like, and what I mean, what I mean by spam pitting is like, they pitch you once and they fail and then they go 10 seconds again after failing and they do it again and they fail the pit again. And then after pitting again, after 10 seconds, they do it again. And then they do it again until you're rammed into a corner. You get what I'm saying? So I just feel like certain things like that. It's just, again, I, and I get it. You know what I mean? You're a cop, you're supposed to catch criminals. But it things like that, sometimes it gets a little frustrating. But I always I I do understand both sides. Like, for example, if you're a cop and you're chasing crims and then they do constant swaps or they're fucking getting on bikes and they're doing all these things, you know, it gets annoying. It's like it gets to a point where it's like, bruh, you know, we've been in this chase for 30 minutes. Like, can we end it? I guess. I don't know. So I understand it from both sides. But things like that get a little frustrating sometimes. Also, I feel like, for example, I'll say this. I don't know if you guys know what happened, but there was this case where we kidnapped Kid Archer. Oh, I kidnapped Kid Archer in character. Yeah, off I remember duty. That. Yeah, off duty, I kidnapped her. And basically, the whole RP of it was that Pina was going to make Kid Archer a thug because she was too soft and she's <laughs> too nice, basically. She's too nice, right? And everybody, like, uses that against her. So he was going to make her a thug and, like, make her do crime, like, for example, like, uh, lock pick a car or press somebody and shit like that. So we made her lock pick a vehicle and then we ran from the cops, got away, but we got ID'd. I mean, we even tweeted about it in, in character. And then they try to hit Peanut with seven days and 75,000, right? For example, shit like that is like, for a fun RP scenario like that, I feel like cops are not trying to be hit someone with seven days. Like, that's seven days real life like that means streaming seven days in jail and that was before carmine and uh bobby had the, the what's it called the prison the prison yeah so that would have been seven days of me sitting in jail doing nothing you know what i mean for trying to do a fun rp scenario i mean obviously like there should be rep repercussions i'm not saying like oh you know what i mean don't hit nobody with anything but at the same time i feel like stuff should uh match the crime at least like seven days for that is crazy i'm just giving it yeah I Wait, how'd you come to the conclusion with seven days? That was on the docket. Oh, that's so that's what they're trying to push for. That was yeah, they're trying to push for seven days and okay. seventy five thousand, yeah. So what did you get? We didn't get seven days. We uh they did a plea deal. I think they kind of realized because I spoke to like a million people in character about this, and they kind of realized that that was kind of crazy. Seven days for what happened. So they just did they they kind of understood where I was coming from and they just gave us a plea deal. Which it, it turned out good, but it took over a month. Trying to like hassle the cops with it, but yeah. How much time did you get? Can we ask him? How much time was like a hundred? They dropped the human trafficking and just hit like the regular charges, so it was like a okay. hundred and twenty, a hundred months, and eight thousand, I think. That was because they dropped the human trafficking, basically. Completely. I I'm curious, and forehead, I I with that take, Klein. I'm curious, forehead, Louis. I feel about this. We talked about this on the DOJ episode. The thing, I, and this is where I feel it should be, is like for serious shit where it's like 
if you like shot a copper, I, I would even say for like what you did there, client, like what I would say, like what you had peanut do there. Yeah. My thing is like, what, even if it's like more for like sort of fun RP, my sort of thought is like, um, it should be like serious enough that it like goes to the next, I guess, sort of setting of role play, which to me is like one day, right? Like, unless you're like, unless you're like m murdered someone like cartel serial killer whatever you know like some crazy shit my thought is like severe shit like if you like did shoot a bunch of cops or you got or like got yeah, caught for like what you did phone, i'm in game that's why i kind of feel like they it. should like i need to mute it Hold on. almost like soft cap it at like the the one year sentence like one day so it's like yo you know because then it's like almost from the streamer's perspective right it's like yo you did a ton of crazy shit this day this character is now on cooldown for the like you're basically off for the rest of the day and then he can come back and it's like it, it like because i think it then like stops that uh hey i shot 10 cops and then you see me like two hours later it's like wait what so, but, but i feel like the difference between like a one-year sentence and then like a three-year or a seven-year sentence which you know for the viewers that's like three days or seven days is is crazy right because i mean you're a streamer right like you gotta go make content yeah, yeah. I, what you mean. Uh, yeah. I agree with you yeah, I agree, but I think maybe more than more than one day is fine. Honestly, three days wouldn't even be like that bad. It just depends. It's just about does it fit the crime? You know what I mean? Three days is fine. Like if you murder someone and kill them, and it's like some good RP out of it, and you get three days, then I mean, whatever. You know what I mean? It just de depends if it fits. If it fits, if it makes sense, then why not? I think but if yeah, the prison had like its own like eco, like say prison was a bit more, and like there was just loads of people there all the time. And they like was a good ecosystem inside and lots of RP. I feel like then it'd kind of be different. Like if I got sent in for three years, like three days, and there's constantly stuff going on in prison, I don't think I'd even mind that much. I think it's just when you when you go there and there's you know there's nothing going on there, kind of in a in a way almost like a soft band because you can't really interact with anyone if there's no one there. But that's why I'm hoping yeah, they homes, do that thing that I've seen. You gotta also remember that people are streamers and. You know, I feel like it's got so much potential. Some people, get, and like, people it's a different watch some side streamers of RP for one for criminals, you know right? I mean? Going to prison and trying to run what you've got going on on the outside from the inside. So I kind of hope they do that because, in a way, I think it would make it way better when you do go to prison for a long time. Yeah, for for the reference and just for the viewers, I think is that uh, talking about giving like Bobby and Carmine basically admin menu and letting or like dev menu and letting them just like build like stuff that, or like create he, he stuff. He said something about like uh, like having like a public queue. For the prison right so that you could have like what they had on 3.0 right where life has had prior or there was like a separate life for queue so you could just bypass the queue go into the prison so you knew there'd be people there something like that i think is what he was talking about which would fill it up and feel like get an rp going again in there if they did that that's a good yeah, idea same. oh god no, no i was just saying that was a good idea yeah like lifers bringing lifers back would be amazing honestly but yeah yeah, life first gonna be based on the public queue, and they have to role play with Bobby Charles and Carmine to earn like the way out of it. Mm. That's sick, mm. dude. I, how does that how does that affect um server numbers? Like, is, or is it like? Because I would say just do a separate instance of the server. Well, the server's not always full. Their slots are empty right now. Oh, well, even yeah. in NA. Yeah. Oh, there's like a cap yeah, right now because it's two fifty, so right? Yeah. Damn. Didn't know that. Okay, so so like how many and how many people how many people are they like looking to like actually have in the prison then? I don't know. Uh I would imagine probably like 15, 20. Thank you. That actually sounds kind of sick. <laughs> uh Forehead Louis, how have you guys uh have you guys done any like actual hard time now in 4.0 or like what was the biggest sentence you served in 3.0? I'm curious. Oh, in 3.0? Uh, 30 years for the Sanguine War. Yeah, that's like crazy. 30 days. 30 days. But was that, that, little, thing. Was that one a little? Was that one a little easier though? Because a but it was like solidarity. Like a bunch of other people were also yeah, in there. I mean, or like, uh, like so prison rope was really fun for like a week, you know, because everyone was in there and there's like a lot of shit going on. It's actually, like uh, it was actually uh, like fun to be in prison for a while, you know. But obviously, eventually, kind of uh, you know, died up a little bit. But it was fun. We had shootouts in there. I think we killed uh, actual justice. No, well, I can't yeah, go right did. now. So I'm doing a, a podcast, man. 
damn targeted. Um, what about in four point oh? What's the biggest time you were uh, Louis has served? I think I've only done like seventy to hundred months yeah. max. I haven't been in there yeah. very long. Yeah, only like a hundred months, I think. I spent more time in there breaking in to go RP with Bobby and Carmine than I have been sentenced, to be honest. I would say. Kind of like the fact it's lawless. It kind of adds a bit of a twist to it. It's like a no man's land kind of thing. I mean, that's already sounding like... I, I feel like... Um, I don't know. I mean, for context, a lot of people have been asking, like, yo, like, when are you guys going to get, like, actual criminals on... Uh, on the podcast because everyone knows uh, i role play as a fake criminal um i mean that's actually kind of true like mickey doesn't really do you're a cosmetic like, criminal yeah i'm a cosmetic criminal um but i feel like a lot of and maybe you guys will get i feel like a lot of the frustrations but I, i've been felt some of these frustrations as a criminal i feel like a lot of things have actually improved literally in the last like two to three weeks i think like prisons had better rp and um i also just feel like crime actually is starting to become more uh not even profitable, but like just more rewarding. But um, I want your guys' take on this. Uh, how has it been trying to like earn? I, I at least start a four point oh versus now earning money as a criminal. How does that? How has that role play been for you guys? Uh, uh, my, I, mean, my I just started. Oh, go ahead. No, go on. You go. No, see, I, at the start, it was kind of rough as a criminal. I don't think like I don't think you would make much money as a criminal at the start. I don't know if you guys agree. What are you saying, but, uh, Cap? I think one of the, some cap. What I enjoyed at the start was uh, kind of off topic, right? But what I enjoyed was um, how hard guns were to get. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah really, I really enjoyed how I really enjoyed how like when somebody did have a gun, it was like a big deal, you know? Like somebody put out a gun, I was like, oh shit, you know? Like you got surprised. I really enjoyed that. I liked how slow it was for criminals to like get guns and stuff, you know? Like I really, I think that, I thought that was really good. I still feel like it's, is it not like that now? I still feel like it's, guns are pretty rare, especially because. It's more, it's more common now because of uh, civilian guns. Like the uh, criminal guns you can't get because the, you can't hit the crates anymore, right? But civilian guns, like uh, criminals have them, so. I feel like they're pretty easy to get now, right? If you got like yeah, 20K, yeah. you can get a civilian gun off someone. Yeah. So most people have gone. Yeah, I've, I've, I've felt the same. Like, I couldn't really get money at the start. I mean, even now, to be honest, I, I feel like if you was, like, trying to do... If you was just focusing mainly on, like, storylines and, like, RP and stuff like that, you would struggle to be making lots of money at the start because it felt like you kind of needed to commit a lot of time into certain lanes to make money. Now, I feel like it's a bit more casual. Like, you can just be signed in for roof running, make a bit of money. You can sell some weed, make a bit of money, and still have time to go do other stuff. I think it's like, very different now. With weed, with yeah. weed, you can make a lot of money with weed. Like we yeah. right now is like yeah. uh, number one way to make money for criminals. Yeah, I mean, I think my and and I think my complaint, which which again is is it feels like it's been fixed, but my co sort of complaint from the criminal perspective for four point is it felt like you had to be like a civilian to fund being a criminal, which like just it just didn't feel right for like a lot of characters. It was like, yeah, why is like why especially because it was a continuation of three points like why am i like some hardened gangster like running g6 or like running sanitation when it's like and it's basically like you had to do civilian jobs to fund the criminal work you couldn't do crim jobs to fund the criminal work i don't know yeah. I, I feel like it's better i feel it's better now but i think that's been my biggest frustration uh cool. for a while what do you mean by that allowed? Because what, what do you expect to do in the beginning as a criminal? Besides like scam people and like raw people, what else do you expect to do? Um, I mean, I, I think even, I think even just like doing like petty, like petty weed stuff or like, dude, honestly, the, the fact that they added in a, in a mechanic that was like robbing locals was kind of fun, but like. It didn't give you anything. It's like $2. It, just, right? it just, it gives yeah, you like, yeah, it's like $5. Dollars, you know? I mean, yeah, I, what, I, what was the point of that? Like, why why were criminals trying to rob locals? I never understood that part because you didn't get much. I but think if at you got one caught, point, it's a felony, right? Yeah, I think it's at a, one it, point, exactly. Yes, exactly, Sam. <laughs> Sam, I think I think that is what is funny is I feel like that has been the major frustration from from crims is exactly that. So I think at one point, you know, when uh, before people had the turf guys figured out, like the bowler guy and the other right, turf guys. Right. 
people believed, at least I did. Our crew did it. We believe that, like, if you rub the criminals on the turf, the guy would respect you. So, when I run Robin, yeah, like, I thought the same thing. That's yeah. what's happening. Yeah, oh so, my God. Same. Yeah. So when I run Robin, all the locals to try to get good with the turf guys. All right, that's my answer. Thank you. You couldn't rob G6 Is right it... at the start, could you? I can't remember. Like, when no, I, you, I could. Very... you could, you could, yeah, you could. You could, but it was like really, really. Like it was, it was way more profitable to do the run than rob the yeah. run, right? It was like, like it wasn't worth it. it was like, I have to ten dollars a bag or something yeah, like that, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. The, the fence would not take it for a lot of money, and also it was very heavy. You had to like do it uh, one at a time because each bag was so heavy. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. How I mean, often does that happen in the crim world where one person just spreads a lie and it goes like wildfire? All the time. Yeah, a lot. The yeah. amount of like every copium day. that I've been fed of like you try this to get this, and you just once you have to start. <laughs> I believe it every time. Dude, the funniest shit was I forgot who would tweet this out, but people would tweet out like after the storm, they'd tweet out like just got like hey wow, just got like some gun uh blueprints from a towing job, and everyone be like, Oh shit, like it was really <laughs> excited. And then people just spam tow to try to figure out if that was true or not. Um yeah. I think I think the worst case of this happening was uh, dry and weed. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it was people were saying all types of stuff to dry weed. People were hanging it upside down, like so much like oh, yeah, the the dry and weed. There was so that much fa yeah, there was yeah. so much fake info with dry and weed. Yeah, it was crazy. It was all you needed crazy. was the rack, right? That's all you need. Yeah, you just needed the rack, and that's it. Crazy. And and it's and how, and how do you guys feel about like weed in like 4.0 compared to 3.0? How you'd have to have it actually inside a property. It needs to be water. It needs to be and have like a fan. It needs to be dried. It's more realistic than it used to be, right? Oh, I think so it's really power. cool right now. The way, yeah, yeah. The way, like the recent update, like a few days ago, I think happened. It is. It is. It is very cool. It's a lot better now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's changed yeah, the game. Like for people who like doing that, I feel like meth was always that thing, right? You could like sink into it. It's all very like working out the maths and stuff like that. Now the weed people kind of get the same experience of yeah, but the old map was like very like minute school compared to now, right? Like, it's like way more yeah. complicated now. Yeah, right. Because yeah. from the cops' perspective, we've seen like four different kind of uh, different kind of weeds, and then like six different kind of strains. So it's getting really deep. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot different now than it was before. I'll be honest and though. I feel like the main the main problem. It's a lot better now, but the main problem when crime started not started, but like maybe the first month or two. It's just uh, more like the, the mainly frustrating part was the process. It wasn't about like necessarily how much it paid, but it was just about the fact that if you rob something, then you had to get jewelry. You had to go sell the AC parts, for example, get the jewelry. Then you had to try to do the jewelry run, which I think I did five runs and they're all scuffed. You would do the runs. You have to do the run and then you have to get the dirty money. Then you have to clean the dirty money and then you have to run the dirty money, like the wash money. I mean, so the problem with crime is just how many steps it was. It was just like a million steps for you to make 500 bucks compared to a guy that was doing G6 and making 10,000 an hour. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, see, I think mm -hmm. the point with that was, though, is that not, you shouldn't, like, I think uh, the way I looked at it is, like, it's not meant to be done by yourself. There's too many steps to do by yourself. It's supposed to be, like, you know, you have a crew and people in your crew do one thing and then do another thing, right? Like, somebody washes the money, somebody gets the AC pod, somebody does the jewelry run. I think it was supposed to be like steps for everyone to do. I like, guess the way I looked at it, at least. Yeah, but even then, though, I mean, you have what guy that does solo G six, not a care in the world about the money, and just makes ten thousand an hour. You know what I mean? So it's like, I get what you mean, but you know, I feel like I mean, isn't the whole point of crime? Isn't the point of doing crime? It's because it's it pays more than like. I think that's the yeah, point I of agree, crime, right? That it pays more than I, civilian jobs, so you turn to the crime life. But if the civilian life pays you way more than the crime life pays you what's the point of being a criminal it should be no no, no. For, for me in my, in my opinion and i'll give you my perspective crim should be easy money civ should be hard money but civ should be a lot easier to earn that money over time versus crim because of the risk of being crim yeah but like okay so uh, i'm this is this has been my like uh, this is my new like giga take on this that is probably just a horrible take that i'll get flamed for my thought has been this. Um, I think crim, like, it sucks, but, like, I think crim, like, almost has to just be, like, shit pay or, like, shit process. Like, but, like, and, and hear me out for Louis Klein, but I think it's, like, it's basically 
G6 is the easiest way to get, like, if you want to just maximize getting money, yeah, you just run G6. If you want to mm. do crime, like, you're not going to get paid anything. You, like, this is the weird taste. You basically get paid in content in that you get a role play being a criminal and not doing G6. What if you uh, want to stream, though? What do you get paid in? True. I would, I, I, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm, 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 listen, listen, I, I, and here's where the take gets weird. It's like, if you're, uh, and, and again, it's like, you know, like garbage take, but it's like, I'm not saying whether it is, good a good system or a bad system i'm just saying this is how i see it because my thought is if crim actually paid really well then everyone would just be a crim that, that is true but it should be difficult to get into the barrier of entry as you go higher and higher should be much 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 more difficult because you need to invest more money like being a criminal requires investment that's why you need another job on top right yeah, also I mean, drives you to be a crim now as well right because if you get a felony you can't work certain jobs so if you're committing crime once you kind of can't really turn back at that point i know that's not for everything but g6 at least you get fired and then at that point you kind of have to commit to being a criminal yeah yeah but i mean, I, I mean it's basically like i feel like if everyone like if if crime actually did pay well everyone would just make their characters being crims and it's like so so like let me put you that's this way right yeah i, I mean like here's the thing i'm like you have character, you know, like, sure, like, characters, like, I I'll be honest, like, characters like Peanut, SK, Forehead, I mean, even Mickey, like, they, they don't have near, like, there are probably G6 runners who have just way more money than us, and who have not had any, like, real risk in it. Or grime, but the, yeah. re the reality is, like, I do feel like 4.0 actually has a good split of, like, a lot of people who are just civilians, because they're like, I just want to earn money and just do this shit, whereas, like, I feel as, as soon as you balance and tip more pay towards being a criminal like bro it's gta why would like at the end of the day like why wouldn't i not just want to be a crit it's more fun frankly <laughs> okay 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 L let me ask you this this is a hot take okay would you rather have cops and robbers in the server than you know cops some criminals and a lot of grinders mm. i'll take cops and robbers Define grinders. Yeah, doing, mean, do, do, doing group six jobs and grime all the time. That, that's what their function. Uh, like they're just. I mean, I, I would money prefer that. Though. I would prefer that because I think it's good that they have an incentive to you know do do that. Because I mean, somebody running a group six truck, and then I know a, a crew setting up a robbery on them and planning stuff is also role play, right? Like someone has to do that part of the role play, and their their incentive is to make money. So someone has to be doing the group six runs and stuff, you know. Hmm. That's the way I see it. Okay, uh, how come we have not seen, like, you know in the trailer uh, for 4.0? You see, like, that big-ass Tier 3 truck being chased down by, like, a gauntlet? How come we yeah. don't see more of that happening? I don't think it's well, financially like worth it, is it? Like, I think I feel like it does happen. Fun. Does it? You mean, like, big, it's like, big plans and stuff like that? Yeah, like, Rather yeah. than just hitting them on a random one, it's just, like, a right. big planned out high yeah, style like, type thing. Yeah, like heist type of thing. It's just like ambush and things like that. Oh, he doesn't know for it. He doesn't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, yeah, I mean, I mean we, we, we've done it a few times. Yeah, we, we, we've and, done uh, it. Mankind. Yeah, we've done it a few times. But I mean, I get what you mean. Not, it doesn't happen like that mostly. It just happens like pull up on them when they're stopped and, you know. But you mean like, you know, just heist basically on G6 trucks? Mm-hmm. I feel like, listen, I have a hot take, but I feel like you shouldn't even be able to do tier three unless you have four people with you. And you can do it with four people, and you have guns and radios. Because I just feel like, bro, I've literally seen people doing tier three jobs with just knives, right? Solo, I mean, not solo, like duo, with nothing on them. And it's like, the whole RP of being G6 is like, you're protecting the money, you're a security guard. Like, if I was doing G6 and that's all I did, I would, you know, I would have four people, radios, guns. I would be doing it like it's a fucking, like, real life job. Like, we're protecting this money. You know, we got people staking out, like, if you try to rob us, we're going to shoot you. You get what I'm saying? So it's mm -hmm. like, I, I feel like you shouldn't even be able, allowed to do tier three unless you got four people and you have guns and radios and stuff like that. So that's what makes sense, right? Now, if you're doing tier one or two, tier one should be like solo or duo. And then tier two should be like two or three people. And it's, a, you know. No. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, I mean, I just think there should be like, that's just the way I see it. Like, if I did G6 all the time, that's just. Yeah, I feel like that'd be good RP. Like if you just did it like I, I that. I kind of like that. 
You get what yeah, I mean? I mean it makes sense, right? From the RP side, like you wouldn't yeah. do, you would be protecting the money. It feels like here's the thing. It feels like nobody cares about getting robbed or shot. Right? Like for example, if you were G six and you get robbed, like what are you really losing? You're just losing a few bags. You just go cancel the job and do it again. Like you're not actually losing anything. You get what I mean? You know, be like, kind of cool to see. Yeah. If um. So I think one of the main reasons it doesn't happen much is because people don't see as as it being worth robbing, right? I, I mean, I think it would be kind of cool. I kind of agree with a uh, client. Let's say the only time you could do a tier 3 run is if you had a, four people with you armed up. And if maybe criminals on the PC had a, like a PD scan up or something, and they'll be kind of like scanning, right? They'll be kind of like, like, you guys remember boosting back in the day, right? Like, well, kinda, like radar scanning. almost. Yeah, yeah. They'll be like kind of sending a radar. And whenever like one of these trucks would go out, it would be high. Like those those guys in that truck would make a lot of money, right? Be high stakes. And one yeah. crew would get like a get the job, kind of like an S plus boost back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. And then they would then go and set up a plan on the truck. And I think that'd be kind of cool if if it worked like that, and it would be like a high stakes job for the civilians too, right? Because they make a lot of money if they did, if they actually do the job. Well, what would be yeah. pretty cool too as well for like G6 is as you progress as a criminal, you get a lot of unlocks, right? Imagine as a save, G6, you unlock like, you know, a gun for the job where you can only use it for the job and maybe it can expire so fast to where if somebody robs it, it's only gone for like a day and then it becomes rust afterwards, right? And that way you can use it for the job. You get like, maybe like a baton, a radio, a panic button, things like that to help you. So as you, as you progress, progress as, as a save in group six, you're unlocking things to protect you as well. And also as a criminal, you have to think about that too as well, right? So it works on both sides. Yeah, I, mm. by the way, I, I think I agree with all the takes here. And client, I think yours is really good. And it touches on this idea where it's like, like I said, I actually do think that like, as a, it's like a weird OOC thing, but it's almost to like get the good split of like crims versus civilians. The civilian jobs need to pay more or like in sort of like a safer way. But I love this idea that you're saying where it's like, well, I think it's two things you said. One is like, it does feel like, the way civilian jobs are you can just spam them and it yeah. feels like robbing the civil like because because again it's like the reason why we want the civilian jobs to pay more is like, okay people do the civilian jobs so it's like well now the crims are supposed to actually rob the civs and it doesn't feel impactful and and like i think i've seen from you from you client like you got you've gone around and robbed civilians and it's almost like feels like it's like it's like you mildly inconvenienced their day and that's like it it's not like it doesn't feel like uh, impactful in rp so i almost wish that the civilian jobs kept the like average pay per like day or week, but the times when they do the jobs are way more impactful. And like, instead of like, yeah, like five G six or however many G six runs a day, it's like you only maybe have like one every like day or two. And it's a big impact. Yo, thing. Booty, so if you get robbed you for on the tier it, one, bro. I appreciate that deal. mod booty for the two months. Thank um, you so much, bro. Thank I so think much. like, I think maybe that's kind of it for like all the civilian. It's like, it feels like we need to have less, spamming of jobs and more you do a job it's more impactful but that means that if it gets robbed it's more impactful too you think yeah. if you had it that if the civilians on the job while doing the job if they get robbed when they go back to the guy they lose rep because the guy's annoyed at him he's like you've just lost a bunch of money that would make and a then, lot of people quit though because you think it, yeah absolutely because they'll just blame it on the person who robbed him and then like you know what i'm done yeah yeah, I work so hard to do this. I get robbed. Screw this, screw that, and just complain and leave. It happens too many times, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, listen. At the same time, like you don't want to fuck people over by just robbing them and like making them lose everything, right? But at the same yeah. time, at least you gotta act like like if I I'm just seeing it from my side, right? Like if I work G six all day, like even if you don't lose anything when you get robbed, right? Because all they're taking is the bags. You could just quit the job and do it again. At least act like you are. You get what I'm saying? Like, so that's why I'm saying do the jobs for deep guns, radios. Even if, even if all I take is your bags and you don't lose anything, at least act like you are losing something or something is happening. Or like you got to protect the money with your life or something. Because in real life, I mean, that's how they do it, right? They have brink trucks moving money. They have people, they have guns. Like they're protecting the money. Like, you know what I mean? Like the security guards, like basically. So, bro, I mean, I, I would, yeah, dude, I, I'm with you, Clement. I would love if, like, the t if the true tier three runs. I wish that Yo, they the I wish that you did a tier three tier run. One, like, and man, like Joe like with a tier one. Thank you guys so much. Maybe once a day or once every other day, and it pays you a fuck ton. Like you're set. 
you get your money and then you can just role play and chill and not have to grind. Thank you guys so much for the subs, man. But when you do that job, you have to set up for that job like we have to set up for. Yeah, it's, it's basically you're setting up like a defense plan. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Whereas we're and then and then and then the crims are like, we're like, we want to fucking rob that shit. And if we hit that lick, all of a sudden it's big for us, you know? Oh, yeah. man, that'd be sick. Yeah, yeah that would be cool. The group six needs to affect the economy, and, and that would have another impact to it, to where people actually give a shit. If it affected economy, and imagine our cash was those those pallets, and if he didn't make it on time, we lost money. Maybe maybe we're all, maybe you gotta buy, buy like money insurance or something. That if you uh, group six constantly loses money, you you lose your money in the actual bank accounts. You actually give a shit about what's go what's going on. And you want to do something about it? I don't know. I'm just thinking of ways that would actually get people involved. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's about having something to lose, isn't it? Because yeah. they know they can just kind of like go back to the hub and yeah, go I mean, again. Right. Yeah, but it's like even if you have nothing to lose, that's fine. Like even if all you lose is the bags, it's just I feel like you know at least you should role play it out. Like you know, yeah. you're protecting the money. Like with, you know what I mean? Like it's fine if you don't lose it. I mean, like I, at the same time, like I, like I said, I don't want to fuck people over. And like I don't, you know what it is? Like you don't want to rob somebody and take like five hours from their day, and they're like, you know, you don't want to make anybody like upset and like ruin their fucking day but at the same time at least role play it out I like just act like you're a security guard i don't know when you rob people it's the ultimate rp check in my opinion so what'd you say i said when you rob somebody it's like the ultimate rp check you get to know them pretty well right because conflict is the best way you can know somebody in role play yeah if they act scared yeah. if like they even care some people are just like i don't give a fuck like that's fine bro take the bags Right. Like, bro, bro, the people, the best is <laughs> dude, the classic. You go and rob someone and they're like, and it's the really? <laughs> You're yeah. doing this right now? And it's like, ah, oh, man. I, 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 I would talk to my chat about this. I'm like, man, like, how the fuck would I react if someone like pulled a gun on me in LA? Like, I'd fucking piss my pants. I'd be a little bitch, dude. Like, meanwhile, I feel like people get pulled a gun on them and they're like, real, uh, wow you're doing this again really and it's like i haven't seen a gun before like yeah hold on i'm yeah. in the head right now give me a second oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i do think yeah. guns in general I, this might be a i don't even think it's really a hot take but i feel like guns in general aren't as feared as they was maybe previously like, I, I don't know it feels like for me at least like you're waving a gun around it's not as big of a deal as it felt like it used to be in 3.0, maybe. I don't know Bro, why, I, though. I think, I think that if you hold someone up and they don't put up their hands and you shoot them, it should be like a forced ICU. Not forced perma. I think, I think it should be a forced ICU. I, oh, I forgot who had this take where they were like... That's wild. Uh, no, I, I think so. <laughs> I, 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 no, you I'm see serious. a lot of people in beds, man. <laughs> I, yeah. You know, my problem is that they can get weaponized, though, right? That's the fear, right? Bro, I'm sorry, but if someone points a gun at you, you, you like I, it gets weaponized. But it's like I, I think I think people I know we're not we don't perma characters, but people need to act like they can die. I think as soon as people stop acting like they can die, is when we get this weird shit of people not caring about getting robbed. Uh, People like, yeah, you, know, you know, I'll even, I'm even going to throw some flowers over to like, to, to Louis. I think that the way, and, and actually Klein too, I think that the way the manner and chain gang war played out, it felt like characters were actually scared of fucking consequences. Like that whole conflict felt like both parties had, a, were like thinking about consequences in that. And like the way Louis like role played the manner was like, they were fucking scared of consequences. Um, I feel like, mm. I, man, like it's like classic. Like you get fucking shot up, and then like all of a sudden, like five minutes later, you're at the hospital, like tweeting out. Like that's. I don't if you're know, on the man. ground. You're in no position to negotiate, really, right? Like at that point, you should see it as my life is in their hands. Yeah, I'm on the floor bleeding. I got someone here with a gun. Like you kind of got. To, if they're pitching you something, you kind of got to take it. Like. You're, I mean, your back's against the wall. <laughs> I mean, I mean, so, I mean so, uh, forehead cl client. How often do you guys like? How often do you guys hold up someone? And then Louis, because I, I don't really do this on Mickey. How often do you guys hold up someone, and they're like, 
it, it feels like they're more like mildly annoyed as opposed to, oh shit, a bullet could go through my head and kill me. Mm, I wouldn't say it's like a hundred percent, you know, it's not always, but I would say there's like a good percentage of people that seem like just annoyed. You know what I mean? Like I get a lot of that really, but I mean, I kind of, the problem is, is that it's so many groups doing crime and like robbing. So it's like they're getting robbed by different groups constantly. So I can get it. I can get it. I can understand that from people's point of view. It can get annoying. But at the same time, you know, it's still a role play server. If you're getting robbed doing sanitation, then switch it up. Do something else. You know what I mean? So I can get people annoyed, but at the same time, it's just like, it's just weird to be like, oh, really? A gun? You know? So, but yeah, it happens happens often sometimes. Depends. I mean, I agree with that. Mm. I think like, I think a lot of people, like especially the group six guys, like the sort of folk, you know, like would get robbed like three or four times a day, you know? Eventually they're like, uh, you know, it's another robbery. I, yeah. think, I feel like when it happens so often, they just kind of just brush it off, you know? That's why it's like, uh, I feel like if you make plans, I remember me and Klein robbed this one guy, and he was like full on oh, like roping shit yeah, himself. That guy was good. Was, <laughs> that guy was good. Yeah, yeah. Like we spiked his group six truck and we robbed him, and he actually like really like he spiked him. No, he dude. That guy. Sh I think he shit himself in real life. That's how good he roped with it. Like <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest, that dude shit himself. Like he was like scared. Like he was shake. He's probably shaking. I don't know. Who was but, it? Who was it? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a random dude. Doing G six, but I definitely, I definitely feel like it goes both ways, right? If you put more effort into like the way you rob them, yeah, yeah, they will just yeah. get the same robbery like the fourth time in the same day, then you know what I mean. I, I think, I think it goes both ways. Hundred percent. It's give yeah. and take, right? Yeah, exactly. I feel like senior buns suffered from that because those guys oh. was getting robbed so frequently that every time you'd even go in there, they, they, I don't know, it just seemed like people was almost just putting their receipts on the floor. Like, here you go, we know what's coming. I can kind of, I also can kind of understand the like, oh fuck, I'm getting robbed again. I, I can understand that, like, because no, now I'm like, I'm G6. thinking like, okay, well, what if I was in LA side. and like, it's we're like, talking about a different you know, my scenario. third time getting robbed that week. I mean, eventually I probably wouldn't be, I'd be like, well, fuck, oh, I carry you $20 on me. Yeah, 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 so how do you guys, I'm, I'm curious, how do you guys react uh, when you get, uh, have, you, have, have you guys been robbed in 4.0? Has someone robbed your character? I think so, probably. I can't fully remember, but I would say so. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I got robbed for a gun, you know? So. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, oh, you, you, were, you were like, you were oh, shot the up, PD right? Gunner. Yeah, I remember that, actually. No, 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 it's different. I was at this hunting place, basically, and I was just chilling, and then got shot and robbed. You know what I mean? God, who would do that? That sounds fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fucked up, honestly. Um. Oh yeah, I got my phone robbed. That's. I, I, it was early on. I was doing gram, probably like week two. I was doing a gram run. These two guys blacked out, ran up to me, and uh, robbed me of nothing but my SIM card. I never saw them ever again. That was. That was all it was. I lost my SIM card. I never got it back. Oh, actually, I got robbed for a gun again from Speedy a long time ago. I think it was like sort of 4.0. Wait, was it again? I think it was a gun, yeah. I got robbed for a gun by Speedy a long time ago, and that's when, when guns were like super rare. What do you guys think about the SIM card robberies? Because I feel like you could really ruin someone's day if you take a whole lot of SIM oh, card. Oh, yeah. That shit is so... If you, think... if you lose that SIM card, it's long. I don't know. But... I think SIM card robbery should like... I think you should only take a SIM card if like... It somehow makes sense to take it, you know? That's the way I look at it. A lot of stuff, yeah. I, yeah. I wanted I wanted to have Mickey do a like because it's like in character for Mickey because he's kind of like organized crime organized chaos I want him to basically make like a a fucking like criminal Geneva convention that's basically like okay if you rob a sim card you have to like return it like you have to like go dump it in a dumpster like yeah, I'm gonna go piss real quick I don't know a day later as like a sign of respect right because i actually do think sim card robbery has cool rp because you can read text get information but it's like mm. it's basically like i'm not gonna fucking grief you of a dude i and i've never had my sim card robbed and i fucking hate sim card robberies because i'm a phone andy trying to call a million people at ott2 ott3 i've got like yeah. five different numbers for people <laughs> like yeah 
feel like I you take it shit. for a period of time to like do some sort of RP with it. As long as it's like a way you leave it open ended so they can get it back somehow, like in the story. I think that's fine. But it's just when you never see them again and then you go get another number. But I like the risk behind it though, right? You have to think about okay, my phone, if it has all the information, if I talk to the cops, if I even talk to so and so and that gets stolen, it's over. It's over, right? So I like the risk behind it and making sure they're going to be basically protect, protect your information and not say everything through text. Mm. Yeah. I, so like I said, I think stealing, it's fine. There's good RP in that. I, I, it's like, it's literally like an OOC, like annoyance. They're like, just fucking give it. Like, I'm going to be honest, dude. Like, I wouldn't give a, I have a, uh, maybe my other take is this. If I could just recreate the fucking contacts and still have the same number, then it's fine. Because I'm sorry, man. Like, I, this maybe it's my own IRL you, trauma. But man, when I was a kid, I used to lose my phone all the time and have to fucking do, redo contacts before there's iCloud and all that shit. I hate that. Like, I'm sorry, what, man. I'm trying to fucking play GTA. Option, just, what if there's an mm. option to have your contacts and you can export them out? Right? That'd be nice. So that would be your, cool. That yeah. Perfect. Solves it for me. So I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think like RP can come from it. Like, Yo, Mod phone. Booty with the 500 fucking like, uh, bits, man. Holy shit. Stole, uh, Mary Yo, Mishka's phone. Mod Booty, thank you so much, bro. Show him some love, chat. Thank you so much, Mod Booty. Ooh. So I feel like there definitely is uh, times when taking someone's phone can like be a good thing. Yeah. It'd be kind of yeah, cool it's... if you could get like a Find My iPhone style app. So imagine you got your phone robbed and then you like go on the app and you can check on the database and it's like, it's at this address. And you can like go there and confront the person that's taking your phone. Like what happens in real life. Bro, Should that's actually cool. sick. And then like people read the phone and then fucking... And then, like, honestly, you could do even more, like, criminal grief, where, like, you then go fucking throw to the uh, ocean, dump the phone. And they have to go try to find it and stuff. At least you know they'll get it back once you get it. it. <laughs> True, bro. People... Yo, Emski with the primer. Thank you so much, people man. I appreciate that. Creep each other. Dump some love, chat. Well, ocean, dump the fucking phone, bro. Yo, thank you, MC. Oh, my God. Be out there for hours trying to find it. Oh, 100%. shit. Um, we talked a little bit about this... Uh, client brought it up a little bit earlier i kind of wanted to come back to it yeah um how's it been with like uh with chases uh we talked a little bit about like chase dynamics or like cop dynamics the whole pitting tasing uh cuffing stuff um i, I like your take client it's weirdly enough it's almost like the same it's in the same theme of the take that you had about uh the fucking g6 trucks where it's like less pits but make them more of like a it's like an impactful moment it's like hey they went for a pit here okay they missed and then there's almost like a like a soft cool down they're not just gonna like okay immediately go and try it again yeah so it like creates more sort of like moments in the chase yeah i mean i just feel like yeah the there's nothing wrong with pitting don't get me wrong i mean like as a cop you have to pit because like if a chase is going on for 20 minutes and like you know they're not crashing what, what are you gonna how are you gonna catch them Right, you mm. you have to pit or spike, but um, it's just a yeah, it's just a spam pitting that I you know I'm like, because I feel like it takes away from the chase if you're just spam pitting someone. Like you, how can you drive away if I, if you're just pitting and then ten seconds I'm pitting again? But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, I like think the, the health so system makes a big difference to that as well. Because you die oh, so yeah. much easier now than you ever did before, right? You could, the amount of times you get out with a die. broken leg from a chase. Yeah. I think I've Actually, been I down wanna, to tasers a couple times. I, I want to bring something up to Sab real quick. I don't know if you are aware of this, Sab. Yeah, let's just start complaining to Sab, actually. This is no, the no, but this is... <laughs> no, no, actually, though. <laughs> no, so basically, I don't know if you guys experienced it. I've experienced this a few times, and so have, like, PG, basically. But if you're in a car, if you're in the driver's seat or the passenger seat, it doesn't matter. And you get tased, you like you go under the car, like you get glitched under the car, and it it's kills really you. It's really weird. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, taser does some dam damage to you as well. No, uh, no, if you get tased, like, yeah, yeah, two, three times, it does damage your leg. It fucks you up. Yeah. So that I, the problem is, like, I don't know how some, sometimes we can pull people out of the cars without being either decent key or buggy, because it does get very awkward, right? If I tase you out of the car, you go under it, and then you're down. Is that really fair to you? Is that fun? Do, do I, should I just revive you at that point, or do we just roll the punches? Like, what do we do, right? It, it gets very awkward in that territory. Mm. Yeah. It's kind I, of the same thing with, um, with, with desync, right? When, like, if you're a passenger and someone's driving, like, on your screen, you're, like, hitting pause, 
and you end up breaking your leg right in the chase, and then you're just kind of like sitting there with a broken oh, was leg. I, was I saying yeah, basically a lot, chat? Was I saying basically a lot? I don't even notice so what, what I'm saying this shit. Do you stick the L on that one, or do you just... Hey, can we take a time out? Can somebody repair my leg, and then we can continue the chase? I mean... I, yeah, 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 it's awkward, you know what I mean? I get what you mean. It's, yeah, it's yeah, awkward it's to just... I, it used to happen like that, like, back in the day, like, you know, you would, like... People would revive if scuff happened, but it does make it awkward. I understand that. But I feel like it happens too often. Like, it's happened to me. It's happened to Kay. It's happened to Rami. It's happened to... Like, it happens all the time. You know what I mean? So it's like, every time you get tased out of a car, you die. It's like, you know, it does get a little uh, annoying. I, I don't mm. know if there's a fix to that. Like, I don't know if you... I don't I, That might I'm be like a GTA thing. I mean, I think it's more... It's just... It's a desync of how the person exits the car. Yeah. And then sometimes just uh, how the taser works and the damage it does. Did it... It sucks, but it's almost like, yeah, I feel like reviving people on scene just kills the immersion. It does. But the, rea but yeah. the reality is it's like, and maybe this is like, we as, or like criminals, we just have to like accept this. That's like, you, you're just going to get fucked by, like, cause the, and, and, but maybe it's like, it's having that empathy then from the cops perspective, especially with sent, like, this is why I, I like, I wonder, Sab, is it weird to like request like some sort of like. I don't even like, for instance, in, in court RP, they mm. do this thing where uh, whatever it is, uh, it's the objection weird or right. objection. Right. Keep the mechanics at Mosley's, which is yeah. uh, forehead. Louis client This is basically we learn um, you can't uh, argue like sometimes you can't argue weird mechanics. They just won't let you do it in, in court because they're like, it's right. a fucking GTA mechanic. Don't argue. Yeah. I'm I mean, almost wondering if we if we could do a similar thing where it's like, yo, you're on a chase and you're a criminal and some scuff fucked you like. I'm not saying let them go free, but like, just like, there's like, a, like, you know, while you're reading out their charges, like also like one degree of scufferoni or something, which is going to reduce your time and fight, like literally just some like little, like quick, like, I feel like at that point it's past the scene and that's like, it doesn't break my immersion as much. Cause now we're in the cells or like just something that like scuff i've done that i've done that I've, reduces I've, time I've, I've chased after people that are limping they're like they're, they're basically wearing like this you know they're like walking <laughs> like that and, and i'm like brother just surrender I'll, I'll drop you a charge and most of them do actually they're just walking like i that. mean yeah i don't think you had to do a charge of like scuff or only whatever but i i think the 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 easiest fix to to scuff honestly is i don't listen i don't mind going to jail because of scuff you know it happens it's not my it's not in my control it's not in sab's it's not in anybody's control right but it's like, if you know I went down only because of scuff, at least take it easy on me. You know what I mean? Like, don't fuck 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Yeah, like, if we... You know, some I don't, cops do, though. A lot of cops do. No, that. some cops do, but sometimes they... I'm not saying they fuck you, but they just hit you like... Like, it didn't happen. You get what I'm saying? They just hit you. They hit you like it just didn't happen. All I'm asking I, is, is if I go down to scuff, right? You realize that, and you just maybe lower my, my time by a lot, or maybe drop a few charges. That's it. That's all. I mean, that's all I'm asking. It doesn't have to be like, oh, let me go or revive me or anything. You know what I mean? Bro, when I, 100%. When I saw the, the fucking K chase where uh, he had the scuba tank and the scuba tank scuffed out. Oh, yeah, that's right. That one, that one killed me, dude. I was like, oh. And like at that point, like, but again, it's like, what do you do? Like, do you revive him and give him another scuba tank, right? Like, you can't do that. So like, that's one where I'm like, man, they just should have been like, you know, I, I don't know. It it it's tough, but like I almost feel like there should be like a um, almost like an OOC agreement of you know amongst the PD of like, hey, when there is like obvious scuff involved, we reduce the sentence, reduce the fine. It doesn't even what have to be the, a crazy amount. Yeah. What if you can mm. request a scuff revive as a crim during a situation? It pops up to the, the cop. <laughs> Do you agree to the scuff? If the answer, it's like a, it's like a yes with a check mark and X with a no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like in it's like the, the embrace too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then if he says yes, they both agree to it. Mr. Cake is revived and it continues to role play. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I mean, listen, the thing is, is that you know, cops experience scuff too. You know what I mean, like head pops or stuff like that. But if we're being honest and we're being truthful, I mean, scuff mainly fucks criminals over because as a cop. Let's be real sad. I mean, I, I, like I said, I'm speaking. We gotta get lucky both. once. We gotta get lucky once. That's it, man. That's yeah. all it is. As a cop, I mean, what do you lose? Like, re realistically, what do you? And, and I'm speaking from experience. What do you lose as a cop? Right. 
If you, Nothing. If, I'm, I mean, I mean, I, you don't lose much as a cop. The only part that really sucks, honestly, is just um, you just want the chase. You just want the chase. Yeah, hundred percent. Right? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's just content. Well, but like a, a random like, and the other thing is like, it's just a numbers game, right? A random local spawns in front of a cop. Um, they, there's still like two other cops probably on that chase. Random local spawns in front of the fucking crim, and they eject a seat out. Ah, it's over. You know. Yeah. Mm. I do think it's like, oh man, I, I hate, I hate the reviving idea though. I, I don't. It's just, just so weird. The scene yeah, that. it is, it is, it is weird. Yeah, I think the leniency though on like, if you know someone's been arrested because of something like that, leniency is probably the best thing you can do in that scenario, right? Like, I don't really see anything else you can do. It depends yeah. what you class as scuff, because I feel like ghost locals are so common. Like, would you even? Yeah, I mean, that happens at a time. That goes both ways. That, like, that goes both ways. Yeah. It's more of like, okay, you're in the car, I tase you, you get out, all of a sudden you're under the car, you're, you're done, and then that's it, you're caught. Like, what are you supposed to do at that point? It's, you're screwed, right? Yeah, yeah. There's not yeah. much you can do about that. Um, also, I just want to briefly pause to say, this is my worst transition I've done yet. Um, if you guys are enjoying the criminal perspective on this, well, why don't you go and hear the cop perspective on it as well? That's right. Role play podcast on all of your favorite applications, YouTube, Spotify, etc. And we even have an episode where you can hear from those dirty cop mains and hear from their perspective on all this stuff. Uh, thank you so much. And also as a note to my chat, uh, for the love of God, stop arguing with each other. You guys are not on no pixel. You are not in a gang. They don't know you little bro. Stop arguing for your for the fucking characters. Like no one, like just relax, guys. You're not in the crew. They don't know you. Anyways, um, <laughs> I got a question, but I want to be ready. Yeah, yeah. All right. What, what's your question, Sam? My question to the crims: What would it take to stop swaps? Or is that is that a reality mm. we must accept? It is here to stay. That is part of GTA RP criminal world. It just it is there. It's never going to go away. It's just, it's there. Is that something I, I must accept? Is that reality? Uh, mm. Yeah, I think that's like, I think that's like going back to the chase, right? Of like what cops do during chases. I don't think swaps will go away. But I feel like uh, when the client mentioned like pitting, like let's say there's a chase and the, it's like a, a chase, like cops are chasing a van with four, four people inside. There's even a single swap. They keep pitting it. It's like, like, I feel like at that point, you shouldn't be pitting, right? But if you're chasing someone that's constantly swapping, I think that's when cops should go hard on pits and stuff, you know? I don't, I don't think swaps will not be a thing, in my, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't think you can stop them. I think you can prolong or, like, draw out the chases. Like, I'd say if a chase starts to get aggressive, like, as soon as you see a car smoking, most of the time, you can assume it's gonna, someone's going to try to set something up, right? Like, have some sort of backup. I feel like the chase is less aggressive, the more inclined to drive for longer. Yeah. I, was... I don't think you I don't think you'd ever get around swaps though. Yeah. I I'm gonna be honest, I agree. I don't think swaps will ever stop. But I think it's also about like, for example, there's many times where I've been like in an absolutely horrendous car that goes eighty miles per hour and then I'll get like four units on me. So it's like yeah. if I yeah. if I'm in a terrible car, okay, and, and you got four units on me, like what can I how am I gonna lose you? You get no, what I'm I get saying? that. I have I get... to swap. Yeah, right, I get that. But uh, I get what you but... mean. It, it gets annoying. I, I know exactly what you mean. Trust me, because I mean I've done it. I'll be honest. I know exactly what you mean. Like, uh, if it's like a, you know, let's say you're chasing like an actual car that goes fast, and then, you know, they're just swapping over, and then they swap again, and they swap again, and it's just like you're just bored at. Like it's just too many times. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I've... yeah. Go ahead, sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I've had chase where there's like a five car swap. Like, how do you deal with something like that? Like. Six people. They start with six people, and then end up with one person because everybody just got dropped off eventually. So how do you combat something like that, right? I feel like that when uh, that I, happens, you just gotta get. Yeah, that's right. when you just get aggressive. I mean, like if they've swapped uh, five times. I mean, I said the thing about constant pitting, but I feel like if you if I've swapped five times, at that point I kind of like, you know, if you're if you just pit the fuck out of me, you you just. I mean, at that point I kind of understand it. I'm not gonna lie. Like you know what I mean? Like you just go very aggressive. I don't know. I mean, what does that mean? Because like, I don't want to shoot. Like, imagine if I we said we said okay, tomorrow there's a new SOP. After the third swap, you shoot. <laughs> at that point, at that point, it's too reckless. The chase is just too reckless, right? Criminals will find out in game, 
And oh no, boys, we have the third swap. Get ready for an ambush. We're about to shoot first. Why let them shoot first, right? We want the element of surprise. And they say turn into a bloodbath, a shootout every single time. Uh, I mean, but why? Like, I feel like you could just make it like, oh, you swap shoot more than tires. two times. You shoot tires. Yeah, like you, yeah, you, you swap more than two times, you, you shoot tires. Yeah. Bro, I hey, love it. I, this you is... give a warning. Like, yo, if you shoot, if you swap more than two times, we're going to shoot your tires. Like, you know what I mean? Bro, At that I... point, two swaps is like already good enough. Shooting tires is sick. I, this is why the, I, racers hate me for this take, but I love when people shoot tires. I think it's dope. I, I just like, I, I don't know. I just think it looks satisfying yeah, to see the tires pop out. I shoot and then, tires. And then if you can get out with the fucking car with the no tires and you have to do some other crazy, I that's sick. So you guys got to understand tires, that it's also annoying for cops. The criminals escalate and shoot me back. Yeah. What happens now, right? It's in a promotion. shootout. It's in a promotion shootout, so, it's mm, a promotion yeah. shootout right? I, I guess, the, and this is, okay, this is where I... I'm sorry, forehead Louie client. This is why I, I have to bring in actual criminals because this is where I'm like empathetic to, to cops. Um, bro, I like obviously swaps are necessary, but man, like I hate the like at some point, like it's just like, wh why are we doing our like fourth, fifth swap, man? Like, you know, like, at some point I'm like, I, I feel like the criminals just need to like do something better like either have set up a block i would block rather be shot i would rather be ambushed and shot okay i'm gonna tell you right now straight up yeah like le like we, we like come on like at, at a certain point it's just fucking annoying like it's right just 100 percent. Uh, right, let me yeah go ahead we the, one thing i would say though i feel like right now that that you can't correct me if i'm wrong but you like can't rent boats and like other means like that at the moment right because i feel like something like three point oh yeah, you can't like yeah. I'd say that some of the ways that people would tend to spice up their swaps and make it a bit more like of a cool plan, you can't do right now. Yeah. So maybe that's why swaps are a bit more I mean yeah. common percentage. I, I don't blame you guys by the way. I like I'm not judging anybody, I don't blame you guys. And it's effective. It worked. You're a criminal, your goal is mm. to escape, right? But I'm trying to find it to where it's like fun and fair for both sides, where it doesn't feel like it's always one sided, right? Because if you're not having fun, I'm not having fun, then you're not gonna see a lot of car chases and they're gonna turn into more aggro because we're both frustrated in character. It's not bleed in character, right? Yeah. I mean, I could tell you exactly why people do car swaps. I feel like the reason why is because I forgot what what are those points called where if you get three strikes, they... VAF? They, uh, yeah, VAF. So there's VAF points, right? So nowadays, nobody's going to be using personal cars because it's not worth it. If you... Those strikes never go away. So if you give me those strikes and I get three of them, you take the car, you sell it. So I'm not going to use my personal car. Right, since I'm not gonna use my personal car, what I'm gonna use is a stolen car. So when I go grab a Maserati, which is a decent car, but the top speed is 110 or 115, right? And then you have charges on you that go 180 and break through everything, right? They don't ever like for example, if I crash like two times in the Maserati, it'll start smoking. The charger the charger crashes two times, it's gonna keep going. And you like a Taurus, I, Taurus a or, 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 I forget the exact names, but the reason there's a lot of swaps is because criminals have to use stolen cars that are shit, right? Or not shit. Maserati's not shit, but are just not as nowhere near as good as the cop cars, right? So if you if you're in a car that goes 180, turns at a speed of, speed of light, and you ram a hundred things and you don't smoke, it's like how am I gonna lose you? I have to okay. swap to lose you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to swap. You no, know, that's fair. That, that is fair. If your car is shit, you know, there's not much you can do about that, right? Because driving a straight line, you're not going to lose them, right? But how would you feel if there was, like, stolen cars you could take that are, like, high-end that you pay, for, you know, a few thousand for to drive for the day? Would that, that fix the better. problem? Yeah, he on, keeps though. leaking. Would he keeps leaking this, man. We're waiting for this. Wait, say, Sal, say, please. I'm, he keeps... He... I'm, I'm, I keep pitching it every single day. Bro, now. just keep... message it. Just message Coil, man, please. We're say, waiting say, for Say that again, Sam? <laughs> so there'll be, like, a base... You know how there's, like, a rental? Yeah. But this rental is, like, it's like it's hot. It's got hot cars. So like these cars are basically ah. stolen cars that people bring from shopping. Or people... Ooh. It could be an option. You could, you could drop the car there for a rental place, or you could chop it off of materials. One can pay you more money because you dropped the whole car, and the criminal comes in and borrows that car and uses it in the crime, but it's like a Porsche, but it's stolen. But you can only have it for the storm. So you can use it for heist, you can use it for your plans, and then you can ditch it, and you don't have to worry about coming back for the car, and it's a stolen car. And then you pay maybe like two, 3000 a day for it. Okay, and this rental spot would be like illegal, right? Yeah, it'd be like a hot spot somewhere like in, out in the county, like hidden. Yeah, I think that's I a think good I think that would be good, but I think, yeah. okay, I think it would be good if you could only have it for like, let's say an hour. So not everyone's driving around in these, like, these yeah. high-end cars all day, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's only expensive, for right? an hour for a job. It's a money sink, right? It should be, you should, 
even if you want to drive around with it, I mean, it's going to cost you like what, four or five grand. If you want to spend that much money on it, it's up to you. Yeah. It's like something you do. Cause you like, Oh, like we're, we're hitting like a fucking cash exchange. We need like a good car. I mean, I, I think, I think having good local cars is one solution. Um, on the note of swaps, and this is like, I feel like for the viewers, for chat to understand this, I don't think all of us are saying like swaps are bad. There's a type of swap and a number of swaps that is just, it's just too much, right? Like, I feel like if, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm doing some job, doing one swap is fine, maybe even two, but if it's like a planned spot, I think where it gets crazy is where it's like, this is, you know, we have one person got out and they just keep going back in new car boom bop and where it's almost like a, a race of attrition where the cop cars are breaking down and the criminals have now just like and they're not even i think uh for some of the criminals it's almost lazy it's like they're not even planning like yo jump over a wall here it's like yo middle of this intersection hop in this new car they get out hop in the new car drive chase continues that car gets beat up new car comes in yo middle of this intersection hop in this new car I, and I say this as like, you know, I literally watched a company chase where they did this. And I was like, oh my God, like, just, I was like, what are we watching? Like, it was like the fifth, sixth swap going on. That's, I think, the kind of level of swaps that's just too much. I think, uh, I think another reason for the swaps is, and not like actual like ideas, is um, a lot of people are hitting stuff. Like, for example, the laundromat or the cash exchange. And they get a new USBs or a new sticker or something, right? And they want to secure that item. So they want to make sure they get mm. away, right? So that, yeah. Not being as creative with the plans to like actually have a fun chase, they just want to get out to secure whatever they're getting, you know? Because yeah. that's because, another reason. Because it's about progression, right? Because if, if you yeah, yeah, don't exactly, get that yeah. out, right, you're going to fall behind yeah. and you're not able to, yeah. you know, I, I get that. I get that. Like, I, I get like, I get like saving one person to make sure they get away with the loot. That happens all the time. In fact, I can tell you when we do, we do like cash change and, um, uh, what's the other, laundromat robbery, we catch maybe two to three people max. Sometimes we get all four or six, it's a miracle. And that happens, we can probably dance because it, it, we've done the impossible. But most of the times, it's two to three max. So we don't catch everybody. We did, um, one thing that is cool that you can do now as well is like the handoffs, right? Because before you couldn't get an item out of your pocket and just hand it to someone. So some of the swaps we've done is like, we'll stop the car, run for a building. There'll be someone in disguise in the building. You hand off the thing you're trying to save to that person and then they'll get in a second car. But like there's ways you can do swaps that are less just trying to get away with the item like i think that mechanic has a lot to do it like even throwing stuff you could like throw stuff out the window onto like a roof or something or have someone waiting up there do shit like that do you see that as like the same level as swaps or do you think that's better doing the handovers i feel like what? i feel like it's better because at the end of the day like that like i've I, maybe i i don't know from the cop pov i mean from from my perspective watching some of these jobs i'm like i, I just am, I, I like lose my i'm like losing my mind after like the like fourth or fifth swap i'm like why like why is this going on um so yeah i think as long as it's like continuing the chase like in a good way i, I think it's always good yeah you know, you know what i actually liked and i miss you know how cop cars used to have modes like s plus a yeah b, uh -huh. b a plus honestly like i feel like that's a good idea because like like i said right if I'm in a stolen car, that shit. I mean, there's nothing you could do about making your car worse because you're in a Taurus. I mean, it's just good. Like, what can you do about it? But th that I feel like the modes thing allowed, like that exactly what I'm mentioning. Where like, okay, they're in a shit, not a shit car, but just a car that's nowhere near as good as ours. We go in a different mode that's similar to theirs, and then it's kind of fair. You know what I mean? And at that point, it's like, all right, we're actually on a similar playing field. I mean, obviously, cops are always gonna have the upper hand, but. You know, we're, it's a lot similar, so I can actually lose these cops. Now, you see what I'm saying? So, if there was modes like that again, I feel like that'd be good. But, I don't know, that's my opinion. I have a, I have a spicy question for, for you three. How do you guys feel about uh, uh, going back for the boys? Ooh, how, do you, no. how, do you guys, how do you guys feel about that? Because I'm... I'm gonna be with. I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a fake crim on my take here. I, and I have I, a question to on top of that too. So. Yeah. And what I mean by going back for the boys is like if someone's cuffed and you go back to put them in yeah. the car. Yeah. Or or just like no man left behind kind of mentality. Um. Uh, I think I think it's good when it makes sense. Um. You know what I mean? Like if it makes sense to do it, then do it. But 
I think cops, uh, cops now, I think it's good that they, uh, if you try to push one in a car, they beat you down now, right? Like, that's just right. how it goes. Right, yeah. And I think, I feel like if you just robbed the laundromat and someone got, one of your boys got caught and he has nothing on him, I mean, just leave him behind, you know? This is what it is. I don't think like everyone has to be rescued. I think there's cool plan ways of doing it, right? But I guess, it, I don't know, if, it, if it's just someone's in cuffs, you try to pull up and seat them and you know there's like six, seven cops there, you're like, probably best to just be like, yeah, it's a lost cause. Hey, it all depends. Mm. Like if you go up and there's maybe one cop there, maybe it makes sense. But if you pull up and there's four cops, five cops, and you're still trying to rescue him, mm. it, it's, it's, it's all, it just all depends. There's no cuffs now either, right? So even if you get your boy out and he's in cuffs, you then have to... You gotta do a go to the, RP thing. Yeah, cop or something. Go to the, you know, go to the yeah. vanilla unicorn, the classic, yeah. Hmm. Um, I'll be honest, I feel like... I get, I get exact... Like, the no man behind or whatever. I feel like... It feels like right now, the chance of you rescuing someone that was caught is like almost 0%. Yeah, it's slim. Yeah, it's very slim. With that being said, I don't... I don't think it should be high, but I also think there should be, you know, a chance of rescuing your friend. I think there should be a chance. Right now, it feels like there's almost 0% chance of rescuing somebody. It is almost impossible to rescue one of your friends, right? I feel like it should be, it should feel like you can, but it's, you know, a h higher than 0%, basically. To me, it feels like zero. Like, if I hop out and try to put someone in a the car, they're going to beat me down. There's almost no way to rescue someone. Like, you, you literally almost cannot. Right, mm. I feel like it should. It should feel like there's a better mm. chance. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Also depends what the person you're trying to save is going to be going in for, right? Like, say it's one of your boys and he's got a nines amount of drugs on him or some shit. But like in that scenario, there's more of a reason to try go back and save him than if it's just like a speeding ticket or something dumb. Yeah, Louis, Louis, yeah, like, that's well, my that's my well, take on it. It's like if 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 your boy is like caught for like some heavy fucking shit, then then I think it makes sense, but like, yeah. or like they had like some nasty worn nines weed. Then yeah, I actually think one of the things I don't know if people have noticed this. I think one of the things that they did to discourage this, I mean, this is a quick take, but I think the devs made it so that the progression side of uh, crims is not seized by cops. Uh, dongles are not like dongles from the laundromat and stickers, yeah, uh, from the cash exchange are not seized. So I actually think yeah, they, Zach, but that's basically the only way to do it. You know what I mean? Some of the still maybe getting used to that. But like, to do it, but yeah. you get caught I mean, with it's those, almost zero percent chance. So fine. Am I right? I'm not leaving them wrong. I know that's I know. definitely on the stickers. I don't know about the USBs. I always thought the USBs was taken. I might be wrong. Yeah, USBs were making progress in that. Oh, the, oh, that's because the cops I, are trying. The cops are trying to solve the rainbow. That's why. Sorry. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um. Oh, they are seizing them. Oh, I for a while I thought they weren't seizing them. Right. So. Oh. Well, well, just kidding. We've had, some, we've had some information on them, um, regarding them. Oh, Most but you used know. to used to not, but now that you got like an yes, unlock, you eventually do? people uh, people give us the unlock. Yeah, it took a while. It took like a month. Hmm. Yo, I got a question real quick. Um, Stab, how can I ask you? Okay, how are spikes meant to be used? Uh, spikes are meant to be used as one as a deterrent or a way to stop a vehicle. Um, they, they, in my opinion, I'm gonna give you my hot take. They should not be deployed like banana peels on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's. Just... And and they should not be deployed under the car too as well. Think about it, right? Because when you're placing down the spike strips, the role play behind it it rolls, right? So how does the, how does the spike roll through the car? go under it and then all of a sudden it's, uh, you know it just it's yeah. there without causing damage right so uh for me spike strip should be done in a way to where it's in front of the car behind the car enough distance or uh, you know up the road down the road or the way to where you can do like a uh, like a seat control to where they're laying down next to barriers so people can see them yeah i mean i'm just asking because i mean the way i've seen spice i mean obviously this is in real life but the way i've seen i've seen them being used is like you know there's a chase going on and you think you know where they're about to go so you set up park your car and you get out and you get ready to you just stand there i mean that's just i mean that's just how it is you stand there right. and wait till they're about to come pa come by and you just throow them right. right right and you call it out i mean that's the way i would see spikes being used right but it feels like right. sometimes i mean it's happened i don't know if it's happened to me in 4.0 but no i've seen that it, 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 it's, it's, yeah it's happened to me in 3.0 a lot like where they you're just literally you're literally parked 
Or you're not even parked, but you're just right next to the cops. They're running around on foot, and they just start throwing them everywhere. It's just like... But yeah, that should not happen. It should be plenty of distance in between. If they do throw it in front of you when they're tr on foot, it should be plenty of distance to where... Because there's placement, right? Because you don't want it to magically appear in front of you. There needs to be a bit of space to where it's like not just like comes out of nowhere and then boom, spikes in the ground. Yeah. That's why we tell people, go in front of the car, give it some distance, and then try to spike exits. Don't, don't just spike in front of them. Try to be more tactical with it. And a lot of people just tunnel too much, and that's the problem. I, I think on the note, like we've talked about shooting tires and then like now talking about spikes. I almost wish... And like here's here's my design pitch if any of the no pixel designers want to make this i feel like they uh they should have a different item than spike strips and the only reason i'm not saying get rid of spike strips but like because again one of my issues is whenever we go to like real life and then come back to gta my biggest issue is like yeah like spike strips work in real life because you can't just like yolo these cars off road right like a lot like we're we're in gta and we can like you know as vulnerable or as weak as the cars are we can just fucking go up on a curve avoid the spike go off road nothing happens right you watch like a, a car in real life do any of that and the car just get like you or even like jumps or anything like that like if a car takes a jump it a five foot jump it breaks the axle and it's just done right now i'm not saying that we should have it be that realistic but i'm almost like i don't want like spike. like i wish for instance what i wish the pd has i wish you guys had like a spike ball that you guys had to fucking try to throw at the tires kind of like shooting the tires but way less accurate like a bolo? Yeah, like some fucking like I, it'd be really cool if you guys had like a like something that could let you spike tires offensively, but was a pretty honest. high skill check. Like fucking throw something at the fucking, and that way it doesn't escalate to shooting either because you didn't pull out a gun. That'd be fucking sick. Like some sort of like I don't know thing that you throw at the fucking cars. That'd be dope. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that maybe sounds... I overcooked. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel I feel like that'd be very hard to like implement. I don't know. Maybe even maybe it would not. be so decent key though. That's yeah, it'd be problem. so it'd be like very yeah. weird to do. Yeah, it'd be hard. Yeah, the problem is I feel like the way that spikes are used defensively, it's it's just pretty rare to like see them used. Well, I use them for scene control. The the way it should be done is like one of stars. Every cop should treat every criminal like one of stars. How hard should we go based on how much they've done, and that's how much the scene control should be like, right? If you've done some like violent crimes and you got three four stars, I'm gonna put down spikes and barriers to control the whole entire scene, right? And I'm gonna be more proactive as far as my policing. But if you just ran from a traffic stop, you had a stolen car, and we just caught you, that's like a one or two stars. I'm just going to chill with you, talk to you, get yeah. your medical. If anything happens, happens, right? Yeah, I mean, the way I saw it used that I actually liked, you know, I think it was Forehead that was getting chased by cops. And uh, it was, uh, I think it was Denzel, right? Denzel set up in some alleyway by the south side. And I think because he knew it was Forehead, I don't know, I don't know how exactly it happened, but he like set up and just... Had them already laying there, knowing that forehead was probably gonna come through that alleyway, and then I think forehead yep. came through it and uh, he spiked them or something, right? Forehead, is that how it went? Yes, yeah. So I take, you know, I tend to take the same routes when I get away from cops, like a lot of times, right? Denzel knows them, so he just set up spikes in like the common routes I'll take, and like he spiked the car, which is really good, you know. Yeah, I'm jealous of criminals because you can spike cops so much easier than cops can spike criminals because you have to. They follow you, right? You can take them to the, any, any alley, any corner, and they just turn, boom. Yeah. They're done. True. Yeah, I did that today, actually. Um, we, uh, there, there was a cop that tried to spike us, and uh, he ended up getting knocked over, and he went down. And I ended up seeing the spikes, and then the same chase tried to spike the cops, and ended up spiking Ming, and he flew out the car and hit a wall. So, <laughs> didn't quite go. <laughs> God damn. I mean, yeah, crims have the upper hand when on... they use properly. Yeah, I mean, crims have the upper hand on cops in a lot of scenarios, you know, because you got the element of surprise the cops don't have, but cops have numbers, yeah. and you know, how do you, how do you have the element about... of surprise? Yeah, every time. How, how do you feel about the rule of six compared to rule four? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like six sometimes sometimes feels like it's too much. It is. It is. Yeah. I feel like you know what would be nice if they made a lot of the cars five seaters. And made it a rule of five. Would that be hard or bad? No, that's possible, but it require a lot of just um change a lot of like the, the, the new cars. cars. Yeah. The basic GTA cars will be four. So somebody will go in the trunk. I've uh, never experienced four, four right? before. I think for certain things a rule of six is good, and then for certain other things, rule of four is better, right? It just depends like what it comes. Like I feel like for gang and turf raid stuff, I think rule of six is better. And then for like police chase and other stuff, maybe rule of four. 
I think it just it just depends. I feel oh, like, like a big heist, you could do six. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I feel like if it's a it, like if there's certain heists, there's six. Like they could even like lock that, like or sort of suggest that in the HQ app, which heists are like a four man heist versus like yeah, six. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other reason I liked four is I, I feel like the role play is actually just better. Like when you have four people, it, there's like it's kind of less voices, a little bit less dank, and it feels more. And honestly, just the dialogue is better. You gotta plan more, more intimate. Too. Yeah, and you gotta plan yeah. more, right? You can't just you gotta be more smart about things because you just don't have six people to help. I mean, two extra to help you. But um, I feel like five. I I think five is a sweet spot though. Like imagine it just is. having every car being five and then having five people. I feel like that'd be good. Way better. Be, way better. Yeah, Sam, I, I, was, I would love five actually. Yeah, I feel like the reason like cool. a lot of swaps happen and stuff like that too, is also because there's a rule of six and you literally can only have four in a car. True. So if you yeah. do yeah, a I mean, job, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You're always gonna have people outside. On the outside yeah. yeah, and then it's like people not included. So, like for example, if I wanted to have six people on a job, but I wanted, I don't, I don't, I don't want to have a plan. I just want to drive away from cops. Just have a nice chase. You know what I mean? Correct. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that because it'd be a four seater. So two people would have to sit outside 100. percent Yeah, I mean it's awkward in the beginning of the chase. Sometimes you have two cars and we have to chase two cars at the same time. Right? Yeah, yeah. And yet you have to you have to separate, and it's like two active chases going on at once. Yeah, most cars are four seater as well, right? So you get people with a, with a two in the trunk, which always makes things awkward. Anyway, if it was yeah. four or five, then you can have one in the trunk, four in the car, or four. I think it would yeah. make shit smoother. I've never experienced it, but but no pixel used to be four, right? Like yeah. way back when. Yeah, I would, I would what even was it like, like then. Good. It was good. Uh, the reason why I like rule of five or or like having five or six or like and maybe like. To four it's points like yo if it's like if it's gang versus gang shit by the way with gang versus gang shit i actually don't even i don't like the rule of six actually i think with gang versus gang shit i i love scenes like i mean like louis had this scene with uh Klein, i don't even know i don't know if you were there with cg but the whole scene with the manor and chain gang was fucking sick because there were so many people and it wasn't the scene wasn't mm -hmm. about who's gonna win the six v six right the scene was about gang versus gang right and it made it way like cooler that there were so many people involved in it uh i think as long as people are respecting the rp you don't i, I don't I, I just never want to see fucking six versus six arena shooter shit so that's why i'm like i'm more okay if it's like bigger numbers versus smaller numbers i think with a heist the reason why i love the rule of six for heists is because it just lets you do cool plans like as soon as you can have like extra people you can do some crazy shit yeah 100%. I mean, I get what you mean, by the way, with the, the gang versus gang. But I feel like six is just better in general because, like, imagine you do a gang versus gang, right? You have ten people or however many, right? And you do something and then the cops show up. Just imagine it from the cops' point of view trying to deal with 20 people on a, you know, in a gang war. Like, it would just yeah, be absolutely, true. it would just be it's crazy. chaos. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to, yeah. I mean, six, I mean, imagine a 6v6, right? Like, that's already 12 people you got to deal with as a cop. So even that would be crazy. So I, I get what you mean. It would be dope to do, like, you know, you have a bunch of people, like, in each gang, and you just, you know, do some stuff. But if cops show up, it's just cooks for them. I feel like context I'm... matters a lot as well, because that whole thing you're talking about at a cul-de-sac, it's like, because it was just like a gang-to-gang -gang meeting. I feel like you can get away with having like 15 on each side. But if it's like more, like client said, something where the cops is going to get involved, then you, it, it has to be limited, yeah, the, right? Yeah, but the thing is, meetings can always pop off. I mean, it was just a meeting and then it popped off. You know what I mean? Like, imagine we shot or something and mm. the cops pulled up, you know what yeah. I mean? And we had 15 people on each side. It'd be like a little crazy, you know what I mean? But yeah. That was nice though because there was no guns as well. I think that's like I feel like the big groups when you've got no guns and it's like a brawl. Yeah, yeah that's that better. would kind of be quite oh. cool. Yeah. If there's no guns, it's a lot better. Yeah, then then yeah. The, like a fifteen v fifteen, like that'd be cool. If no, that's like, fun. We had the company versus the Dan's, and it was like I'm pretty sure it was like fifteen v or I don't know. It was like maybe like twelve versus twelve, and it was just a <laughs> massive fucking brawl. Uh, yeah. And that that was sick. So yeah, I mean, like again. I, 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 guys, I have terrible takes sometimes, so I, I agree with you guys. I, I rescind my take. It's only cool if it's, like Louis said, if, if it's the right scene, I think it can be cool. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I think brawls are always cool. I, I feel like you don't see enough of those. Like, it's always, like, shootouts is quite, was, was quite common and starting to get more common. But, like, the 
knife fights and melee fights in the right context, I feel like can be a quite, it's a nice middle ground before you get to that full fledged, like, conflict area, right? Yeah, like most of us, building and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I remember most of us are American, man. We want to use our guns. Yeah, okay? just, not, oh, yeah, it's not a UK thing, you know? Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. Good point. I feel Bang, like bang. things get more serious when it's guns, you know what I mean? Like, when it's knives yeah. and stuff like that, it's like, you know? It's cool. Whatever. But yeah. yeah, it's cool. Yeah. But when you use guns, I mean, it could be cool too, but it just gets serious. It's like, yo, this guy just gunned me down, robbed my gun, like, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, you, you'll take it a lot more serious. Basically. As, as a, I mean, as a pseudo crim, I lo dude, I love guns in 4.0. Bro, I, I love, like, the chat. scarcity I and, like, the what severity that they add to scenes. I think it's been I gotta really go cool. piss again soon. Um... Fuck. I don't know about you guys. If you feel like they're, I feel like they're a little scarce right now. Like just a, uh, like a little bit more on the scarce side. But I'd rather they be scarce than like, I don't know. In four point oh, I, I hated the days where it was like walking around with fucking AK on your back. Sorry, forehead. I know you used to do that, but <laughs> <laughs> I did like the drive bys though. I feel like that was one thing that like class two is being gone kind of. Like drive by him with a Uzi with a van with like a sliding yeah, door always was pretty sick. cool to me, but yeah, yeah, no, that shit is cool. Yeah, I feel like it, it, it's like gives that south side feel as well, right? Rather than like, bro, kind a of single, one -tap a single fights. shotgun, yeah, a single shotgun in a drive by is so, ugh, like, uh, yeah, man, as soon as it's off, we need Dracos back, man, 2.0 Dracos. Yeah, like imagine owning like a 24-7 on Ansel's Boulevard and then you're like the owner of that uh, business and then you pissed off a gang and they pull up and they do like a drive-by with Uzis on your whole entire store and the whole bullet's just going into the store like that. That would be pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> bro, why do you say things like, oh, bro, you, this reminds me of, of oh, like Buddha watching the trailer where he's like, maybe, maybe that'd be pretty sick. Why are you, why are you teasing us? I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying it'd be pretty cool. I'm just saying. That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Dropping hints. Would be cool. All right. Um, listen, we have uh, kept you guys long enough. Um, we've got to go, and uh, I know all of you guys, we've got to go and get back to... Uh, what do we do? The, what, what, are, what do real criminals do these days? What's, what's the day in the life of a real criminal? I don't... I don't um, my character is not a real criminal. Sorry. What, what, what are you guys' plans? Shell wheat. All right, by the way, I, I, not to glaze you here, not because we're on stream, but I love the fact that you go out of your way to do creative plans for selling weed. I like how you interact with the locals. I see that shit all the time, so keep it up. Dude, your plans okay. have been fucking amazing. We, we, we literally have a joke now in the comeback. Like, I, I, like, my character, Mickey, feels like he's falling behind to uh, the besties because you guys are... I, my character doesn't give a fuck about hitting the jobs first. My character cares about doing the cool plans first. So the fact that you guys have been doing it, like trying to do a train plan pisses me off because I'm, that's where I try to be first is with the cool plans. And so, I mean, good shit. Oh, man. you like the, the train plan's good. I like it. It didn't, didn't work. work I, I didn't get a C. Oh, uh, it didn't work. Yeah, that we looks hard. It's fun to so pull much. off. I looked at the phone and uh, the train came late. Honestly, uh, client has a lot of good ideas as well. Though. Like a lot, of, a lot of times, I do stuff with the client, and it's, it's his ideas. You know, it's a lot of good, uh, lot of good ideas too. Or what a are you cooking up? One you guys did was good. W glaze. What'd you say? What What are you cooking up these days, client? What's 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 new for Peanut in the crim world? Man, I'm gonna be honest. I do like I don't even. A lot of times, I just be thinking about stuff on the spot, and just doing random shit. Like that's why I always do shit with forehead because I know he's on the same type of like. Tri-fed energy, basically? Yeah, like, we, like, bro, we came up with the most dumb plant. Like, we, one time we were, like, selling hairlines and, like, repairing people's hairlines and, like, taking them to, like, <laughs> the barbershop. Like, we were just in the hospital, just dumb shit like that. And then a plan, too, that we did, some really creative plan that we did to rob G6 with spikes. We had, like, an ambush, just stuff like that. Like, I feel like just doing robberies like that just makes it so much more interesting and for both sides too. Like imagine getting a robber like that. You know what I mean? Like you're doing G6 and out of nowhere a guy in a bush spikes you and then three people in bikes roll up on you and you just get robbed. Like that's sick. I would love to see it from their point of view. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Coming up with plans like that just makes everything so much more fun. That's why I do it and that's why I do it with forehead too. I think I think everyone here and even and and Louis, I've seen like dude, your uh, Louis, your guys is an ambush of chain gang was fucking sick like you guys had balls Wait, what to happened? do that what, what happened bro they ambushed chain gang outside of like 
the what was it the uh it was the hunt in um the hunting spot like the sales spot the clean, where you uh, the sales spot where you the clean the clean, fur yeah. and stuff like that yeah they're, like set up on the bridge above and like look down because there was like some conflict with with taco so it was like the get back yeah it was like a like an ambush thing which was cool oh wait i was there shit never mind okay yeah you okay, were yeah. you pulled up you i think you were the first to respond <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like i i feel like uh you know wrapping up this episode is one of the things i with all three of you and, I, and again we're, we're we're hard glazing here but um no i mean like i think it's been really cool seeing people like doing more criminal role play as opposed to just like you know i, I think near the end of, of 3.0 and this always sort of happens where it's like it feels more like we're just not role play we're like playing gta online and just like fucking playing an arcade game as opposed to like setting up cool plans setting up cool scenes ambushes whatever the case is so uh been loving it you three have been crushing it um with that being said i will go uh forehead louis uh hold and then on, the client. Chat is asking chat is asking oh. about the trash bag robberies what is that oh yeah that was great oh, I saw yeah. the clips of that. Oh. that was real cool can you like spin <laughs> real quick before we end yeah yeah tell them about it uh so we're robbing sanitation workers right and uh we dressed up as trash bags and uh I like, kind of like sat down next to the other trash bags to like, blend in. And then when they would come to like pick you up, it would like stand up and hold them up, you know? <laughs> Bro. Cuck penny? You come up with some like, I just said fucking it. Victor, crazy I just said it. plans for like, for, like the, the, yeah, well, the worst thing is, is it actually works. They would, like, come, they would like come to try and pick you up. And like, why can't I not pick the trash <laughs> bag? <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's um, what I, that was cold. All right, for Louis Klein. Shout out your channel, shout out the characters you play, and we'll uh we'll wrap this one up. Forehead, you first. Uh I go by forehead. Um I role play a moron named Forehead. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for having me on the podcast. What's the crew you you run with again? Uh, <laughs> for the one time. Nah, well, one I'd rather time. not name the crew. One time, nah, I'd one rather, time. Yeah, I'd rather come on, I'd rather not name the crew. You go. It's it's called, it's called the besties. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn, he said it. All right, Louis, go ahead. Yeah, yeah I stream on uh, my channel, Louis. Uh, I play SK, and yeah, I just be doing dumb shit, pretending to be a gangster on the internet. Appreciate you guys for having me. Though it's been it's been good fun. Sparky. Yeah. Yo. That's me. Name's Client. I role play Peanut, and uh, thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it, man. It's a fun time. I, I want my turbo back. I didn't take it. <laughs> That shit's long sold. 99, surely. you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm Blau, uh, and we also have our co host, uh, who is finally outnumbered by Crims on this episode. Sab? My name is Sab. I'm, uh, I'm Twitch.tv slash Sab, and I play as Captain Slacks and LSPD. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, guys, thank you so much for coming on the episode. We're going to be hosting more. This is, I, I called this the criminals episode, but obviously, we're going to have a bunch. You know, we'll talk about new things when they come out. You know, whenever we can rob the casino, we'll talk about that. Who knows, right? So uh, thank you guys so much for coming on the Roleplay Podcast. And uh, yeah, we'll have you guys on again. You guys are all great. Thanks. Yeah, we'll get one, Appreciate guys. you for having us. Thank you all. Peace Peace guys. On. All right, there you go, chat. There you go. Let me put my voice in your back on. All right, is my voice in your back on? Uh, yo, what's handy, bro? Well, hell yeah. Is this back on chat or no? Yeah? Alright.